There's a spooky compilation for you. It's spooky time. I love Halloween. It is hands down my favorite time of year. Now I do have some actual videos coming up at the end of the month for Halloween that I made for you guys specifically for the occasion, but I thought it'd be a lot of fun to have some compilation videos. So let's get right into it. I've got my spooky mask on, I got some spooky candy with me. Let's get into the compilation. If you're not aware, the Addams Family are coming back in theaters with a brand new film on October 10th, 2019. With this entry into the series, it marks the fourth Adams Family feature film. Albeit, this is an animated feature. It does honestly look quite fairly decent. It has somewhat of a Hotel Transylvania vibe to it, and honestly, I will likely be checking it out. Starting as a comic panel in The New Yorker back in the 1940s by artist Charles Adams, the popularity spun a highly successful television series, which lasted from September 1964 until April 1966, totaling 64 episodes. That's a great length for a show of that status during that time. Now, I do apologize because I have been talking about the Adams, and in all honesty, they are not actually who I am here to talk about. Exactly one week after the Addams Family premiered on ABC, another family of monsters made their way to the CBS network. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, that's all right. I am, of course, speaking about the Munsters, compromised pretty much by the Universal Monsters. You have Herman, the Patriarch, who is basically Frankenstein's monster. Then there's his loving wife, Lily, or, should I say, the Bride of Frankenstein. Herman and Lily's son, Eddie, who carries around his plushy Woof Woof, who is supposed to be the Wolfman, er, boy? Living with the family is Grandpa, who is pretty much Dracula mixed with Dr. Victor Frankenstein, as he is constantly creating potions in his lab. The family also had a pet who lived under the staircase, a dragon named Spot. Rounding off the family is their niece, Marilyn, a human girl, whom, yes, is based upon Marilyn Monroe. Week in and week out, the episodes showcase the family's outcast status in society and the hilarious antics that went with it. Everyone in the series were shocked and dumbfounded upon realizing them, including Marilyn's boyfriends, who would always run away out of the house. She seemed to be the only human impervious to the fact uh, that the family were monsters. The running gag always being that the family found Marilyn unattractive. The series was a huge success just like the Addams Family, and people tuned in every week from September 1964 until the show's ultimate end in May 1966. After the series ended, the actors went on to do other things with moderate success. Fred Gwynn, who portrayed Herman Munster, went on to one of his most famous roles outside of the Munsters, and one of my favorite characters in a horror film, Judd Crandall from 1989's Pet Cemetery. The Munsters genuinely left a big impact on pop culture. From a 16-issue comic book series by Gold Key Comics, a video game for most computing systems, hell, even Diamond Select, those fucking toy sculpting geniuses, create a toy line in their likeness. I mean, for fuck's sake, one of the best modern heavy metal singers, Rob Zombie, sculpted a song around Grandpa's Munster's vehicle, the Dragula. So here's my question. What happened to the Munsters? After the series ended, the original cast would reunite to bring the sole theatrical release to date, Munsters Go Home. They followed this up 15 years later with a TV movie, the Munster's Revenge. After that was done, in between 1988 and 1991, 
an updated series titled The Monsters Today ran in syndication with a new cast of actors playing the roles. Although it was a three-year run, it wasn't very memorable. Four years after that show ended, another TV movie aired, again with a different cast of actors, and this movie was called Here Come the Monsters. This was followed up the following year with another TV movie with yet again a new cast of actors, for some reason including Alfalfa. This one was odd though. It was a Christmas movie named The Monsters Scary Little Christmas, which I am guilty of watching every season. Now apart from these, the only thing we really received was a pilot that was never picked up for a series called Mockingbird Lane, a clever reference to where the family resides, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. This was a modern take on the family, abandoning the classic looks and giving it a dramatic storyline. Now I should say that 15 years ago, the Wayans bros were attempting to revive the property to no materialization. Honestly, that was likely a bullet dodged. The most recent news we received was two years ago as late night host Seth Meyers was involved in adapting the family into yet again another modernized series. This would throw away the city of Mockingbird Heights and put the setting in Brooklyn, New York. The fact that the monsters have not been treated as well as they, as I believe they should have, being a huge fan of the series, makes me want to fucking smash something! Okay, maybe not. But I honestly do believe that the monsters do, do deserve a comeback. Whether it is a 3D animated film, as the likes of Monster House, Frankenweenie, Hotel Transylvania, and I'm certain the new Adams Family, are loved and are considered achievements. The monsters can be the same. Even if it is in fact a live action update, it would be nice to see them on the big screen. Fuck, if done properly, the property can the property can be given to Tim Burton, just as long as Herman doesn't do a dance and spin his head around. Or you know, even, dare I fucking say, Jordan Peele. I think, even though it is a documentary style film, and the vampires in the movie indeed look for people to kill. The film What We Do in the Shadows, maybe, albeit very, very loosely, the closest we've had to having a mon monsters living in a house communicating with normal society. And it's even a comedy movie. I may be overthinking this a bit too much here. I don't know. But I think that the monsters definitely are a far underrated property. I mentioned it earlier, it's the classic Universal Monsters as a suburban family, and as a fan of both, especially with more 3D animated films and comedy horror films appearing, I honestly believe that now would be the right time to bring back Herman, Lily, Eddie, Grandpa, and Marilyn, especially since it has already been 55 years since the original series premiered. Alright, I think I've gone on a bit too long about this. My closing thoughts? Most of us horror fans, if you agree, love the Munsters. That's not to say that we don't love the Addams Family. But I think that there is uh, more of a genuine story, more development, and even more frightful laughs with the Munsters. If you're a fan of the show and haven't watched it in a while, dig it up again. And if this is all new to you and you've never experienced it before, I highly suggest it. One day, hopefully, our misfit family of monsters will resurface, even if it is in black and white, and I will be happier than anything to experience it. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Pleasant fucking nightmares. And to quote the TV show, I'm just dead on my feet. Aren't we all? Welcome to the nightmare. I'm going to unbox the Monsters Complete Series DVD set. Let's get into it. Let's see, this is the box itself here. You can see it tells you everything, all the special features inside the series. It's a nice photo of the family. Now let's uh, check and see what each box uh, has. Now we get to season two. Let's open it up. 
pretty much the same. You've got the episode contents on the front here. Try to put that, there we go, put that back in. Then we got the other discs. Other discs. And then on the back here is a photo of Herman and Grandpa. That's pretty cool. So here's the first season set. Open it up. There's a the first disc pegged on the end here with a photo of Herman on the inside. And then putting that back in, there's are the other discs. And then, oh, one of the discs fell off. And then underneath the last disc are the episodes for the contents of the first season. There we have the back of the set. And this is the box again. All in all, picked this up on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Totally worth it. Uh, with Halloween coming out, coming up, I definitely suggest checking out uh, The Monsters if you've never checked it out. It's basically your spoof on the Universal Monsters. And that's it. So, I have been waiting so long for this. Rob Zombie's been working on the Monster movie for the better part of, like, I think a year, a year and a half now. I follow him on Instagram. He's always posting photos of uh, production and the cast and everything. I am so excited because today, June 8th, the new teaser trailer, well, the, the, the world premiere teaser trailer for Rob Zombie's The Monsters movie has been released. At this time, I have yet to watch the trailer. Um, I'm, okay, I'm a big fan of Rob Zombie. I love his music. And I'll tell you so right now. These are two of my favorite horror movies, and they're by Rob Zombie. House of Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Reject. So, I do love his movies. More recent stuff, not so much. But, the guy also proved that he can do comedy with The Haunted World of El Superbisto, which is, it's a, it's a movie. It's definitely a movie. It's a, it's a mind trip, if, if, if I say so myself. But he can prove that he can, he got the chops to do these kind of things. Now, I'm a big fan of the Monsters TV series itself. I have the complete series here on box set. Um, both of them. Go check out my, my mini, mini video where I did the unboxing of that if you, want, if you want to. But I've been a big fan of the Monsters ever since I was young. And so when it was announced, you know, I, I, well, when it was announced that they were making a movie, I got really excited. I've been saying all these years, where's the big live action Monsters movie, you know, for theaters? There's always been a lot of Addams Family movies, which don't get me wrong, I do like the Addams Family, but nothing to me is as awesome as The Monsters. That's the one, you know, older TV show that I can still watch this day, and it's still one of my favorites. I still sit there and I laugh, and I just, I love the Universal Monsters, so anyways, Let's get all this babbling out of, uh, 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 out of the way. I don't want to make this too long a video because, uh, you know, sometimes trailers are like over a minute and a half, sometimes two minutes, sometimes even three. So, got my laptop. I'm going to open this up and i uh, going to watch the trailer. The laptop, when I opened up, was covering my face a bit, so I had to bring it down a bit. Because you guys do want to see what I think of this, right? So, let's... Okay, I'm opening up a laptop, so just bear with me. I normally tend to watch uh, trailers on the TV while I'm sitting down, so this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be different for me to scroll onto my laptop. I just got to find where I can uh, check it out on. Alright, I got the trailer. I am about to hit play. It's about 52 seconds long, so it's not too bad. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. Nice. <laughs> of course, Sherry Moon Zombie as Lily Monster. That's really cool. Okay, this is awesome so far. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Dan Roebuck as Grandpa Monster. At the beginning we saw Jeff Daniel Phillips as Herman. Cool, okay. Oh, wow, I thought it was going to be uh, in black and white. Well, 
Alright, alright, let me talk about this though. I would like to thank all the little people who work so hard to make this picture a success. I would like to thank them, but I really can't because I did it all myself. <laughs> Okay, so I really like that the teaser is basically the intro, the opening to the original TV series. As I mentioned with Jeff Daniel Phillips as Herman, uh, Sherry Moon Zombie as Lily, and Dan Roebuck as Grandpa. So I like that they just recreated the, uh, the intro. You don't see any mention of Marilyn or um, Eddie. Maybe they'll be in the movie, maybe they won't, I'm not sure. I heard that Pat Priest and Butch Patrick will be in the movie. So I'm still not know to what extent they will be taking part in the movie. But I'm talking about the teaser right now. That was really cool. I had a I had a good time checking that out. It was like it was like watching the intro of the old series, which is great. Um, so it makes you believe that it's in black and white. But then it says in living, uh, you know, now in living color, and it zooms to, photo to, to them on the couch just sitting there. And Grandpa, so now what? There's not really much I can say at this point on the teaser trailer. That's all it is. It's just a little homage, I guess, to the intro of the original TV series. I guess we'll see as more, um, you know, as, 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 as we go along, as the months go on, I guess there will be an official trailer. And uh, if you guys want to see me do a reaction to the official trailer, we could do that as well. This was something I have never done before in my life, and because I'm such a big Monsters fan, I want to do this for you guys. Your favorite freaky family returns. I thought it was something scary. They're a most becoming bunch. Spend some time with the first family of Bright. Watch Monster Go Home. Coming up next on the Family Channel Movie. So that's it for today. Pretty cool, pretty cool teaser so far. Like I said, it's just an homage to the original intro. Not much more we can say about it. Like I said before, let me know if you guys want to see me do a reaction and an analysis, can't speak properly, to the full-blown trailer once it's released. Are you guys going to check out the movie? Are you guys looking forward to seeing the movie? Are you guys going to go look at the trailer yourselves? I know that you can't really do too much and hear too much when I have it here, but are you guys going to go check out the trailer yourselves? You know, go check it out if you want. So I just watched Rob Zombie's The Monsters. You know what? I really liked this movie. People either like it or hate it on the internet, but I really liked it. So I thought the casting was fantastic. You know, Dan Roebuck as the Count, a.k.a. Grandpa, was fantastic. There are some callbacks of cameos to uh, past characters from the show. The set design is wonderful. Um, the only negative I have really, like, it's really funny, this movie. The only negative I have is Jeff Daniel Phillips as Herman. He tries a little too hard. And Sherry Moon Zombie as Lily's a little bland, but it doesn't really take away anything from the film. It still works. My wife and I laughed a little too hard at this film. I don't think we should have laughed that hard, but it's cheesy for all the right reasons. I give this movie a B. If you're a fan of the Monsters, I recommend it. I definitely suggest it also for a Halloween season if you're looking for a Halloween family film to watch, check it out. Anyways, I'm going to do a full spoiler review of the film on my channel in October. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon, guys. I'm sure by now we've all seen the monsters. So, you know, I had made a video of this, but I wasn't too happy about the quality. So I just want to do a quick short of the monsters to complete series. It's got the, um, the first and second season in here, which is cool. It's a box. I took the discs out so the other box is out so it can be really quick to show you. Basically, you start with season one which is really cool. Uh, it's got 38 episodes, all the classic series. Oh my goodness, the disc is falling. So it's basically just red discs inside there. It's nothing really too special about it. And it's the same thing for season two. You got a picture of Munster's, um, Herman's face on the, on the case. This one has 32 episodes, special features. Um, yeah. And then there's again, the same as the red discs. What's really neat though, on the first season though, you have the uh, unaired pilot episode and the family por uh, portrait episode. So yeah, subscribe to the channel for more content. I picked up the Monsters by Rob Zombie on Blu-ray. Not very much to it. There's a read up on the back. Uh, I'm not gonna read it up because uh, this is a short. So if you guys wanna pause this and read up. Special features include uh, Return to Mockingbird Lane. Uh, it's a documentary on the making of and uh, commentary. That's cool. It's a slip cover. So, nice AMR, SMR sound. Let's get Blanca out here. It's the first time I get Blanca, uh, that nice ASMR sound, to do a short with me. So let's just cut a little nick. There we go. Let's get the packaging off of this. Come on. There we 
see. So, packaging is off. Same thing on the inside and on the inside. Oh, really nice looking disc of the Monsters on Blu-ray. Yeah, I've already reviewed the film. You can check it out in my shorts if, uh, if you haven't seen it already. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought about it. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more content, guys.